What's up everybody? Well, it's time for another full house vacuuming to test vacuum cleaning performance. This time we are going to be featuring a vacuum that has quite an interesting story. So here I have my Hoover Wind Tunnel Anniversary Edition self-propelled upright vacuum. This was the first ever Hoover Wind Tunnel that, that my parents bought back probably somewhere back in either 2010 or 2011 but this was bought about a while ago that and later it got replaced by a Kenmore Elite and my parents tried and tried to sell this thing but never actually did so and I managed to hold on to it and now it resides in my collection and this particular model Hoover Wind Tunnel holds quite a special place in Hoover history. This was Hoover's longest production vacuum. It ran from like, I think 1997 all the way up until 2019. So this thing had a 22 year production run before it was finally killed off and replaced by the Chinese junk that's made today. And Hoover actually no longer makes bagged vacuums anymore. They have since made all their new vacuums bagless. Just to try and compete with the Shark and Dyson competition. So they no longer make bagged uprights anymore. Or, or bagged vacuums in general. Maybe commercial vacuums, but they don't make residential bagged vacuums. So... This thing's still looking pretty good. Hasn't got that much run time. So I thought I'd go ahead and give it some, some run time by doing this full house cleaning. So as usual, I got a brand new HEPA Type Y bag. This is actually a generic EnviroCare HEPA bag. I would have ran a genuine Type Y HEPA bag, but unfortunately I ran out. See, it's got the a somewhat used pre-motor filter. The exhaust filter is in okay condition too. Has a lot of carbon dust from the motor, but that's that's very normal to accumulate on over over a long period of use. And since this is one of the newer styles of the wind tunnel, it actually came factory with this Cleveland Wood Products brush roll. This is an all wooden brush roll. It has very stiff bristles that are actually made out of nylon. So its agitation is very incredible for a clean air based vacuum. Of course, this particular example could use a little bit of a cleaning, but it still performs amazing. Agitation is very incredible out of this brush roll. Honestly, the only complaint that I have ever had out of this machine is it somehow burns through belts. Specifically, the belt to the self-propelled drive. And if many people know how these wind tunnel self-propelleds work. If the, if the belt to your self-propelled drive goes, the brush roll will, go, will stop with it. And then nothing will work until you replace that main belt. So... I do have a fresh new belt put in just to make sure everything's performing good. But for now, let's go ahead and get to full house cleaning with this. So let's get off and running.
carpet lines. The, the brush roll, like I said, is very stiff, but it grooms excellent. I'm, I'm very impressed. The only thing I don't like about this, the carpet height adjustment is very finicky on this. When I, I'm, I'm on the middle pile setting, which I usually am for most of the vacuums in my collection, but it feels like it's sitting a bit higher than it would when it's on the lowest setting. And it seems that the way this, this head's designed looks like it could practically self-adjust itself. See how it kind of pivots up and down when the vacuum's sitting in its upright position? So I just like to leave it on the lowest setting because it, the brush roll makes better contact with the carpet, even though this is this is a shag carpet material, but let's continue on.
Well, everybody, the full house cleaning is all complete. And I just gotta say, even though this vacuum was made in the TTI era of Hoover, and that is true when Hoover was still making these, these old style wind tunnel upright vacuums, this bag self-propelled being run the longest alongside the, the wide path tempo, they were essentially the same as their Maytag predecessor. Except the only difference you get out of this is the factory CWP brush roll, which honestly is, is much more stiffer than the Maytag version. And also you get a much louder, more high-pitched squealing motor. But other than that, they're exactly the same machine. Now I haven't used a Maytag version of this, so I don't know how much these differ as far as suction power is concerned, but I honestly think this thing performs great. So now let's go ahead and see what this thing picked up. Probably didn't do much because it is about a half week's worth of vacuuming, but we'll see what really pull got pulled up. Well, everything's definitely towards the bottom. Like I said, it's been about about half a week since I vacuumed, but that pickup is actually pretty decent. So let's go ahead and tuck everything back in. There you go. Well, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this full house cleaning of the Hoover Wind Tunnel Anniversary Self-Propelled. Be sure and stay tuned, and don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.